I haven't been able to recruit anyone. Did I just make the worst mistake of my life? Hola everyone, it's Miss B Money here from Crypto Connections. Welcome back and a warm hello to those of you who are new here. If you are new here, it would really mean the world to me if you click on the subscribe button below and become part of our community. And be sure to also click on the notification bell to be notified of my latest uploads. Today I want to talk about Bitcoin Frontiers. I have to admit, there have been a few moments of doubt that have crept in when I first jumped in. Let me start from the beginning. On February 26th, while I was at work, yes, I work, and actually I have a very stressful job and busy job, and I also run two companies. And as you know, obviously, I just started a YouTube channel recently, so I'm a pretty busy gal. On February 26th, while at work, the notification came up that the Oracle was doing a live stream in a few minutes. Timing worked out perfect for once, so I jumped in on the stream. The opportunity he was presenting sounded amazing, and my mind was saying, Oracle knows how to pick them lately, so maybe this is going to be something I should jump in. My mind was also reminding me the rules of the game. 1. Invest early. 2. Only invest what you can afford to lose. 3. Remember, this is risky. Then I jumped to action, thinking I need to jump in if I'm going to bring this to my subscribers. I need to show it, show it to them and I need to do this now. So I jumped in and this was not an easy task because I had to do it from my phone. Questions ran through my mind like, did I have access to Bitcoin on my phone and did I have enough? Would I have good enough Wi-Fi connection at work to even complete the transaction? And most of all, can I get this all done before my next meeting? Oh, the stress. Well, I managed to do it, and there were definitely a few nail-biting moments where I didn't think it was going to happen, but I managed to register, transfer the Bitcoin successfully, and get off to my next meeting on time. When I got back to my desk around lunch, I started to watch some of the videos. I quickly realized as much as Bitcoin Frontiers offers educational products and that these educational products relate to Bitcoin and more, it meant I would have to recruit people. Ugh, I hate sales. Literally, I hate sales. That doubt, fear, shame, whatever you want to call it, all came flooding in. Did I just throw $350 away? That's what I started to ask myself. And when do I jump into something before doing the research? For heaven's sake, that's what I preach to you guys. Do your own research. How the heck am I going to recruit people? That's all that kept going through my head. Then, as the day progressed, it's almost as if I started to forget about it. Almost as if I was writing it off. Thinking, this is just going to be chalked up as a loss. Then, on my way home, I realized I am only feeling this way because how on earth could I ever bring this to my subscribers? It feels icky. And then the light went off. I don't have to. I don't need to. There are swarms of affiliate marketers out there that do this sort of thing every day. Why not me? Why not approach them? There is no better catalyst to learn something than having a purpose. Well, honestly, my purpose is to not lose money and hopefully help others make money at the same time. Instantly, I felt a shift. I didn't have to approach my subs. I didn't have to approach you. I would approach online internet marketers. So off I went. After doing some research and successfully starting a free website with a lead page and a sales page linked, I started to advertise on this new website. Now it's just a waiting game. Then as quickly as I had gone from despair to a sort of passion with purpose, I ended up back in despair. Why you ask? Well honestly, I started to feel guilty that I wasn't sharing this with you. <laughs> you know this girl just can't win. You are all adults and intelligent enough to either get in or not. 
And who am I to decide this for you? Who am I not to share this with you? So today, my plan was to bring to you Bitcoin Frontiers. Again, I am not your financial advisor. I don't know if I will make a successful business out of this. But all I do know is I'm going to give it my best. The universe gives us opportunities. And like I've always said, it's up to us to grab those opportunities and try. Do I know how to be an internet marketer per se? Of course not. Do I know how to learn? Yes. Do I have persistence? Hell yes. Do I believe most anything is possible? Of course. So I'm taking massive action to share this with people in an organic way. We are into this early. There isn't much talk about this on the internet. The website was published in late 2018. So in my opinion, it seems to be the early stages. This could be massively huge. And if I didn't believe there was opportunity here, I wouldn't try. My thoughts are, there are still so many people out there. Remember I talked about the 99% of the world population that don't even know about Bitcoin. Some people don't want to do their own research. Lots of people this day and age want instant knowledge and they are willing to pay for it. So I'm going to set the stage and see what can be possible both from spreading education standpoint and approaching internet marketers regarding the business opportunity. And with the possibility of Bitcoin exploding over the next few years, this opportunity could be huge. So if you are even a bit curious on what this opportunity is, how it works, how the compensation works, and what will be involved in making this work, then stay tuned over the next few days and even weeks as I share with you my backend information. Of course, whatever is not copyrighted. In fact, I think I'm going to add a poll above this video. It will be completely confidential. Just I'll say something like, if you want to know more about this and you want to hear more, let's do that. If you want to hear more about this, click yes in the poll above. If you don't want to hear any more about this, click no in the poll above. I will support the wishes of the majority. For the ones who do sign up, I will have your email address from the back end platform and we can communicate strategy that way. Uh, maybe even do Skype calls down the road. Lots to think about. So like I said, depending on how much interest I get from you, the viewers, by way of this vote, it will determine if I continue to share my journey and what I am doing to recruit members. I would like to share with you what has worked and what hasn't worked and so on. But again, I'll respect the wishes of the majority. I also have an idea of how we can get you your first member as well. But honestly, I don't want to share that until I know it's more of a foolproof process. My name's connected to this and I honor that. So if you haven't already seen the Bitcoin Frontier lead and sales page, check out the link below. And before I go, I just want to mention to any Canadian viewers who may have had funds in Quadriga, please be sure to check your email as we did get an important time sensitive email. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and if you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps to grow the channel. Have a blessed day everyone and until next time, hasta luego.